Coach, what have the uh, 20, last 24 hours been like in this transition as you prepare to take the floor with the team as head coach? Uh, interesting. You know, we divvy up um, scouting opportunities to various coaches, and this so happened to be my game. So uh, I was in the midst of preparing for Chicago the last over the last week, and uh, so I was able to dive in a little bit more, uh, try to get a little rest, uh, communicate with a lot of people, and um, get myself ready for today. In just again a 24-hour period, what new can you things can you implement, line up within scheme, different things like that ahead of this game? Uh, I think the first part of it, we'll start DJ at the center position tonight. Um, and so that's a change immediately. Hopefully that impacts us on, on both ends of the floor. Uh, we were able to walk through a little bit of uh, some defensive changes um, and also some coverages a little bit. And uh, we'll continue to grow from there. Coach, you said you were listening a lot yesterday and, and, and preaching kind of radical truth, radical transparency. What was kind of the, some of the messages you were getting from the guys in those one-on-ones throughout the kind of busy morning? Yeah, I think the, the biggest thing is to uh, keep the lines of communication open. And uh, that communication is often, uh, and the input uh, is wanted. Uh, I think you take, for example, our walkthrough slash shoot around uh, this afternoon and the ability for guys to um, talk about how they want to play a certain play and uh, what was it suited for our personnel and uh, could we do something differently and so open to those ideals and suggestions. Are the veterans in the locker room really helpful during a kind of transition couple of days here like this just being ballast and uh, of consistency there? Yeah, it's interesting because, you know, some guys have been through uh, a change uh, before and some haven't. And so uh, the veteran guys more than likely have as a uh, just their, their nature and their paths. Uh, but my really ideal was to talk to every guy from uh, the youngest guy. Uh, and so to get their perspective and um, you know, we all go through our, our cycles a little bit differently. And, uh, you know, some of us are still, you know, perusing from denial to acceptance. And, uh, you know, the routes are different and the timing is different. And so uh, being able to be there for each guy is important. You mentioned yesterday just about your own surprise. Do you see that same level of surprise reflected in the locker room? And if so, how do you prepare guys mentally for a game like today after so much change? Yeah, quick turnaround. I think that's the one thing that at the end of the day when you strip everything down, uh, guys are competitors. They enjoy playing the game of basketball. And at 3 o'clock today, they get that opportunity. And so I think they uh, dive in and accept the challenge and um, play for each other. Coach, how are you? Yeah. Uh, we do have a game today, so can you break down a little about the Bulls since this is your game, so to speak, and what you've seen out of them over the last week or two? Well, you know, Chris Fleming was with us at, at one point, so offensively uh, some of the same concepts, uh, trying to get to the rim, also shooting threes. Uh, the ability to keep the basketball in front of us is going to be crucial tonight uh, with multiple drive guys. Uh, the addition of Otto Porter, marketing, Wendell Carter, we hadn't seen him since the first time we played you guys. Uh, and so those additions, our guys have to be privy to personnel, understand who can shoot the basketball and uh, who is a driver. Uh, Coach, uh, can you go well, the reason behind the switch to Jordan? Was it to manage the minutes? Because there were games where he would play, you know, if he, if he was the hotter hand, he would play like 18 minutes in a row down the stretch of games. Has that had anything to do with it? A combination of things. Uh, the combination of, analytically speaking, how he and Wilson Chandler uh, give us defensive rebounding, um, uh, some presence at the rim, the combination of those two guys. Uh, and then I think you also look at the overall aspect of what it does to the second unit with Jared Allen, Torian Prince, Chris Chioza, uh, the ability to play faster with that second unit. Uh, we want to see overall that as a coaching staff. Uh, Coach, we spoke yesterday about different ways you might add some of your stuff into the offense. Are you projecting any offensive changes that we might see tonight on the floor? Uh, maybe out of timeouts a little bit. Uh, we'll get a chance, hopefully, over the next week to um, implement a few more things. Uh, before the game, we'll, on video, maybe throw a play or two in uh, and conceptually see if our guys can handle that tonight. I'm hoping they can.
Coach, how did your experience as a former player influence how you communicated with the guys to help them through in any way through the transition? It really, it was, and I reflected back on it uh, a few times, and um, there's a range of emotions depending on how close you were with the, the coach at the time. Uh, but I think we all deal with it differently. And so how do you persevere? How do you surge on? Uh, there's an extreme amount of um, emotions, anxiety, pressure, all of the above that go with it. And uh, just encourage our, our guys to deal with it in their own way. There isn't one way to deal with it, uh, and the commonality is they'll get to play today. Jack, you mentioned speaking point guard language yesterday, and then touch on Chiozzi. Just what has he brought you guys in the last week, especially since his heroics in the Boston game? Speed. Uh, I think he has a um, a fierceness about him that uh, he's able to battle and didn't mind him matchups throughout the course of the game, but his ability to put pressure uh, on the other end of the floor is, is huge for us. We want to continue to achieve easy baskets and the ability to push the ball up the floor hopefully will help that. Uh, Jack, you mentioned, you know, maybe implementing some things this week. You know, as you get rolling, is there, you know, a to-do list over this course of this week as you just kind of manage the transition and, and get everybody used to things? That was a big part of yesterday, so I challenged the staff to uh, uh, get a list of things that maybe they had been thinking about that we had discussed, uh, some of those things that we'll continue to discuss going forward. Uh, but I think you'll see some changes. Uh, some things uh, will remain status quo. Um, but you take, for example, today we did shoot around on the main floor. Uh, little tweaks that hopefully our players respond to. Uh, but the assistant coaches are presently sending me more lists uh, uh, as we speak. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.